Philippines! Hello po sa ating lahat! Alright! Hello, hello! Wow! A jovial afternoon, grade 8 learners, parents, guardians, and teachers all over the Philippines. I am Chiru Jovi saying, guiding bright minds to be English proficient ready at nagsasabing pag nagdaga ng learning, nagiging mas magaling. Hello po sa ating lahat. I would just like to greet all our viewers and our duties. Teachers and even parents who are watching right now, hello po! Hello to Jalen, to Ayan Garcia, to Jasmine Garcia, to Levina Bangsao, wow, from SDO Nueva Vizcaya, and from Venice Ros Rico. Hello po sa ating lahat and to all our viewers, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to our English 8 Deaf Ed e to Lie online tutorial. And with me supposedly is Tutor Ruby, but Tutor Ruby has a very important matter to attend to. So I will be your tutor this afternoon. So tutees and viewers. Viewers, don't forget English 8 every Tuesday because Tuesday is Choose English Day. Catch us up always at 2.20 to 3 p.m. We can also be seen or watched at Dep Ed, Ed Tech Unit, Dep Ed Tayo Facebook pages, and Dep Ed Educational Technology Unit or Dep Ed TV YouTube channels. Ayan! Napaka uh, energetic naman ng mga viewers natin ngayon. Now, learners and cuties, please tick or click the share button and share this to your classmates or to your group chats. I know you have group chats, all right? Or to your friends, okay? Now, cuties, also, I want you to mention a friend <laughs> in our comment section below, okay? So that the two of you all right, we'll know more about our lesson this afternoon. So I guess everyone is ready. Now, Judy's this month, okay, we are also celebrating the Media Literacy Week 2021 and the United Nations Day. Actually, we celebrated it last October 24, okay? And to know more about these celebrations and to strengthen our awareness about media and information literacy, okay? Stay along with us so that we will continue to learn more, okay? And to continue to add more knowledge. Okay. Now, Chutis, this was our additional exercise last October 12, 2021. Write a two paragraph essay on raising breast cancer awareness that makes use of transition signals. Chutor Ruby and I are very happy because a lot of grade eight learners, even not grade eight learners, submitted their outputs and we select. Okay, we selected two to be featured, okay, as our duties of the week. We have here Joshua L. Pason from Lalo National High School, SDO Cagayan, with his advisor, Ms. Jens Micah Babida. Hello, Joshua. Congratulations. Please get this virtual ribbon with a big star because you deserve it. And this is Joshua's output. Congratulations. And the title of of his essay or the two paragraph essay is breast cancer its symptoms and risk factors should be made increasingly visible wow thank you so much kuya your output truly strengthens the awareness of your readers ayan we also have here another excellent output from francine de leon panalangin from santa lucia national high school SDO Butumo. But Bulacan. Ayan, namimiss ko talo. As hello po to all teachers of SDO Butuan City, especially to our SDS, Dr. Mary Lubide Dumo, and to our principal at Ampaya National High School, Dr. Jawaris L.T. Carlos. Ayan, congratulations, Kuya, Kuya Joshua and Ati Francine, for your very nice outputs. Keep it up. And we encourage all other online duties, okay, to submit your outputs so that you will be featured as our duties of the week and you will get 
these virtual ribbons, especially to Estela, Goregi, Francine, Jalen, right? I know they will also be submitting their outputs next time. So congratulations and to the advisors and parents as well. Now, Chutis, we know that this is the list of our topics this first quarter and wow! Let's big let's give ourselves a big round of applause because we already finished seven, six, and this is the seventh. This session now will cover the seventh topic of, for first quarter. And that is the continuation of our topic last time, which talks about um transition signals. Okay. This time we will be talking about or identifying and using transition signals to indicate coherence, specifically causal and sequential transition signals. And of course, we would like to thank Pivot 4A of Calabarzon for letting us use their module as our references for this session. Thank you so much, Pivot 4A, for allowing us to use your module as one of our references. Thank you so much. Okay, now, Judith, get ready with your keyboards because we are going to have a review, all right? Are you ready, Katleya, Raina Lynn, Francine? And this is what you're going to do. Fill in the blanks with the correct word or words and type your answers in the comment section. Okay, I guess everyone is already. All right, please give this session a heart react. Let us see if everyone is ready, just like Raina Lynn. Okay, Katleya. All right, Theresa May. Wow, Trisha Garcia and Joshua. Okay, now Chutis, are you ready? Let's start. Blank are words or phrases used in written or spoken communication that help readers understand the links between ideas. Ayan. Ano kaya ayan? Nasa blank na yan. Okay? Laika. Good afternoon, Laika. I know Laika has an answer to this question <laughs> or to this activity. All right? And Katleya as well. What are words or phrases used in written or spoken communication that help readers understand the links between ideas? Okay, ano kaya yan? Jalen. Okay. Remember when we write or when we speak, when we present ideas, we use these, okay, so that our readers or our listeners will be able to understand this better. Ayan, I can see already answers from our duties. And the correct answer is transition signals. Wow! Aside sa magaganda kayo, ang gagaling nyo pa. Very good. Okay, Joshua, Katleya, Jalen, Francine, congratulations. Laika, also answered transition signals. Now, we know that transition signals are classified into four, right? And two T's. I want you again to classify transition signals or give me the four classifications of transition signals, okay? Oopsie. All right. Let's see. Okay. Please type now. Okay. Let's see. What's the first one? The one in that blue box. Not blue box, but the box with the blue border and a blue blank. Ano kaya yung unang classification natin? Francine answered additive. Yes, you're right. You're too fast. Ati Francine, congratulations. What about the second one? Okay. Or if you want to this, you can type already the, the the other three classifications if you want. Okay. Hello to Lenilin Ogoy. Okay, we have your additive. Wow, Jalin answered adversative. Congratulations, Ate. Wow. And of course, we have causal and sequential, which we will be discussing this afternoon. Now, two T's. Okay. Let's find out now the function of these four classifications. Or let's have the two, the first two that we discussed last time. Additive transition signals are used to blank similar ideas, introduce an additional idea, an example, or illustration. And why yung missing word dito? What is the function of additive transition signal? Okay, let us see. Hello to Carl. And while 
you are typing your answers, I would just like to greet. Please give me the chance to greet my mother who is celebrating her birthday today. Happy birthday, Mama Noor. We love you. <laughs> okay, so we have now an answer. Additive transition signals are used to... Okay, are used to... What is it? All right. Okay. Okay. Oh, guys, tutees, I can see here casual. Let us be careful. Okay. Casual and causal are different words. So please be careful in typing your answers. Okay. Casual and causal are different words. Okay. Okay. I can see here other tutees are typing casual. <laughs> it's causal po. Okay, tutees. All right. Now let's go back to additive. What is the function of additive transition signal? Trans additive transition signals are used to, hello Chanel Silva, you are right, to add similar ideas, introduce an additional idea, an example, or illustration. Let's go now to adversative transition signals. Adversatives are used to introduce a blank to an idea and a blank a point. Okay, wow. Wow, Laika, Joshua, Francine, Reina Lynn. Wow, kung nagkikwiz bi tayo, ang, ang bibilis ninyo. Congratulations. Keep it up. Carla also answered to add. Yes, during additive. Okay. Hernandez, Aaron, hello. Okay, adversatives are used to introduce and see. Yes, you're right. I can see already here an answer. An opposition to an idea and contrast a point. Wow, congratulations, cuties. Yes, opposite. Very good, Chanel. And contrast. These are the functions, okay? Or this is the function of adversative transition signals. Now, transition signals are like the pieces of jigsaw puzzle, right? They make the ideas in the sentences and paragraphs whole and what's the missing word? Okay, I will give you an idea. Yes, congratulations, Joshua. Opposition and contrast, okay? What about this one? We, we likened the transition signals to pieces of jigsaw puzzle, okay? Why? Because they make the ideas in sentences and paragraphs whole and Okay, ano kaya yung missing word dito? Okay, cuties, you can type now your answer. Remember, when we put together the pieces of jigsaw puzzle, it becomes whole, right? Okay, now, what is that missing word? And that missing word means connected, logically ordered, clear and consistent, understandable too. Wow, okay. Wow, Warren J said congratulations to the to the his co tutees. Wow, connected, Francine. Wow, let's see. Okay, okay. To make the paragraphs, the ideas in sentences and paragraphs whole and coherent. Okay, coherent means connected. Very good. Okay, atas naman ang answer dito ni Kuya Joshua. Yes, it can be used within a single sentence. It can also be used between two different sentences, even paragraphs, or even between paragraphs to achieve coherence. Very good. So, chutis, okay? Just like the pieces of jigsaw puzzle, when you connect them, it becomes whole. Just like transition signals. Transition signals become, okay, become the instrument or become the way to make the sentences or ideas in sentences, paragraphs, whole. And connected, logically ordered, understandable, clear, and consistent. Hello to Warren J. All right. So let's find out whether you truly uh, understood, okay, the additives and the adversatives. Okay. Let's have this text, okay, this draft because we need to complete by providing the correct transition signals, adversatives or additive. Okay. Yes, you're right, Hernandez, Aaron, coherence. Very good. Let me read to you the text while you, you are typing your answers, okay? Mental health should be regarded as important as physical health. They, they, both equally, they both are equally important for a person. Blank, there is a still a stigma attached to it. 
blank other people ignore to talk about this issue. Blank, they feel shame to acknowledge that problems on mental health are present. Wow! Francine gave me correct answers for number one. It's however. Number two, for example. And number three, furthermore. Okay, let's find out, Francine. Con very good. You gave us already three answers. Yeah, okay, let's start with number one. Okay, it's however. Why? Because, of course, mental health should be regarded as important as physical health. They both are equally important for a person. However, kasi contrasting, there is still stigma, meaning there is a problem about mental health, like the problem in accepting the idea about mental health, okay? What about for number two? Uh-huh. Wow, Joshua also answered three. Wow, Chanel also. Laika, for example. Yes, you're right. Congratulations, cuties. Ang gagaling naman ninyo. For example, other people ignore to talk about this issue. What is an example of stigma? Yes, ignoring about the issue. Ignoring the issue is already a stigma. So that's an example. Very good. What about number three? They feel shame to acknowledge that problems on mental health are present. Yes, you're right. Furthermore, meaning to add more ideas about stigma, mental health stigma. The first example, ignoring the issue. Furthermore, or the second example is the shame. They feel shame to acknowledge it. Wow, thank you so much, Tutis. I'm, I'm so happy. I know Tutor Ruby will also be happy with your answers. Wow, who got three? Over three. Please give this uh, or please comment your scores. Okay. Who got three over three? Wow. I know. Francine, Joshua. Okay, Fulgencio. Hello, Clarice. Nice to have you here. Wow, it's a way to go, duties. We still have a lot more. Okay, so welcome to our quarter one, week seven topic, and that is identifying and using transition signals to indicate coherence. And we will be talking specifically about causal and sequential transition signals. Congratulations, Carla, Francine, Joshua, Laika, Chanel. Congratulations. Denmark also got three over three. Wow, I'm so happy with your scores. Now, Chutis, keep it up, okay? We still have a lot more activities to do, okay, as we go along with our discussion. So during our tutorial, Chutis, you will be able to, and these are the objectives for the brain, for our mind, for our heart, okay, and for our hands, meaning the skills that we need to do. Let's start with number for the objectives for our mind. Identify transition signals used in sentences and paragraphs. Classify the types of transition signals used in sentences and paragraphs. Compare and contrast media literacy and information literacy. Construct sentences which use causal and sequential transition signals. And write a paragraph using transition signals that show coherence. So the objective for our heart conforms to the importance of media and information literacy by learning ways to fact check misinformation on social media. And the skill that we need to improve to these, hello to Annie Fernandez, write a paragraph that makes use of transition signals about the ways to fight fake news. Duties, please get a scratch paper or anything that you can write on, all right? And let's have a personality test. Yan, are you are you excited? <laughs> ako, na-excite ako kasi gusto ko din malaman galing sa inyo, okay? So this is a personality test and this is um this personality test is inspired by a Japanese TV show all right on sequence okay get something that you can write on now i have here a whiteboard and i also have here a whiteboard marker with me because i will be showing you how okay all right now chutis what can you see here you can see here a star all right and with numbers okay on each point I just found out that not everybody draws stars the same way, right? Tampil Jollibee, right, Annie? Okay, now, Chutis, when drawing a five-pointed star, from which point do you start your strokes? Okay. 
And this is a simple Japanese test claims how you draw a star reveals your personality. Okay, hello to Annie Fernandez from Balite Sur, ES. Okay. Oh, Joshua starts from one. Okay, Chutis, ipapakita ko sa inyo how I write my star also, okay? So I start from here. It's one, four, one, three, five, two, and then go back to four. Is that how you write also? Oh, Angela starts, starts, starts from four. What about Jalen? Francine, wow. Pareho kayo ni Tutor Jovi. Oh, Katleya, one, four, five, one, four, two, five, three. Denmark starts, okay, then, nagsisimula si Denmark sa four. Kay Jolly naman, one, three, five, two, four. One, three, five, two, wow, okay. From Francine naman, one, four, two, five, three. See, iba-iba. And for Laika, one, four, three, five, two. One, four, ano ba yan? One, one, four, one, three, five, two. Yes, pareho tayo. Okay, now what about you? Wow, we do the same, Joshua. Now, let's find out, okay? So, guys, this is only a disclaimer, okay? This is for entertainment and non-professional psychological guidance only, okay? This is just a test. Oh, for Carla, 14351. Okay. Now, Tutor Jovi starts from 1. It's 1413524. And Tutor Ruby told me that she starts from number 4. Okay, are you ready to know the personalities, Judy's? Okay, to those who are answering in or starting from point number one, you are an eager leader. Wow, so you really have the potential to be a great leader, okay? Those are starting from number one. Ako number one yon. <laughs> si Tutor May naman, I don't know if she's watching right now, she starts, she starts the stroke from number four. Okay, and all right, let's find out what is what is the personality, okay, to those who are starting with point number four. All right, starting point from point number two, hope to be liked by everyone. Okay. Three, a romantic with big dreams. Wow. Four, meticulous and creative. Sino yung four kanina? Si Denmark, right? Angelo also. So you are very meticulous and creative. You are very keen or very, um, how do you say this? Very particular of details. Okay. And starting point five, a genuine person who wishes to lead a fulfilling life. Okay, so guys, type the star icon if it is a spot on for you. Totoo ba yun? Yung, mga per, yung personality check, is it true? Okay, give it a star, okay? Or type the star icon in the comment section if it is a spot on for you. Let us see. Okay, sa akin, napaka spot on. <laughs> yes, what about for Joshua? Kasi pareho kami. For Madeline, wow, you also start from one. Carla also starts from one. Okay, now type, okay, the star icon if it is a spot on for you. Totoo ba? <laughs> Let's see nga. Okay. Okay, Chutis, na-excite ako sa mga, sa answers ninyo. Let us see. Okay, if it is a spot on for a year, are you a great leader? Okay, are you the person who likes or ho ho who hopes to be liked by everyone? Wow, Kathleya, it's a star. <laughs> Jalen also, ah, uh, it's a smiley. <laughs> oh, baka hindi, hindi to, hindi to to, oh, again, duties, meron tayong disclaimer kanina, di ba? This is just for entertainment and non-professional guidance only. Yes, Angelo, Francine, congratulations. Now, duties. Okay, Denmark. Very good. Okay, this time, let us do an another activity. And this is what you're going to do. Read each item kasi kanina meron tayong personality test and sequence. Okay, the sequence on how you write the star tells your personality. This time, read each item carefully. Type S if the sentence tells sequence and CE if it tells cause and effect. Okay, I reiterate, type S if the sentence tells sequence and CE if it tells cause and effect. 
Okay, let's start with number one. And guys, since we are talking or we are celebrating the media and information literacy, all right, so we will be tackling that all throughout our session so that we will strengthen our awareness on media and information literacy. Wow, okay. Hello to Christelle Morales and Christian, Christina Navarra. Now, duties. Media and information literacy equips us to be critical thinkers. As a result, we become responsible and independent lifelong learners. Right? Media and information literacy really helps us to become critical thinkers because we start thinking critically on issues online, okay? Or on ideas that we tackle online, okay? So what is it? Is it a, a C, E, or an S? Yes, I can see already an answer. That's correct. It's a CE, cause and effect. What's the cause? That media and information literacy or MIL, I'll be using MIL duties, okay? Because, because it's too long to say it. MIL means media and information literacy. It's the cause because it equips us to be critical thinkers. As a result, all right, we become responsible and independent lifelong learners. So it's a CE. Congratulations, duties. You got already one correct answer. Okay, let's go now to number two. But before that, what helps you think, okay? Or what helps you uh, answer CE? What gives you the idea? Very nice. It's as a result. Let's go to number two. Oops. First, research more about the post from several reliable sources. Okay? Alam, alam naman natin, marami tayong nakikita sa social media that we need to verify whether the post is true or not so first research more about the post from several reliable sources okay number two it's an s very nice what helps you think it's an s okay because of the the transition signal first very good number three Misunderstanding happens in social media due to the conflict of ideas from different sources. That is why we should research more to verify these ideas. Okay? Marami to. Na, na nyayari ito. There is really misunderstanding. Okay? When somebody, gives a, when somebody posts something and then his or her friends in social media are not agreeing to the idea so misunderstanding happens right okay all right so what's your answer for number three misunderstanding happens in social media due to the conflict of ideas from different sources okay what about number three is it as an s or a ce yes congratulations Leah. you are right it's an ce cause and effect okay because of due to okay yes that's it Misunderstanding happens. That's the result. What's the cause? Because of the conflict of ideas from different sources. Number four. Okay. Is it an S or a CE? Misinformation or fake news is dangerous. Therefore, being media and information literate is essential. Okay. That's why we need to be literate, everyone. Okay. Yes, teachers are not even an exemption to that. Okay, misinformation or fake news is dangerous. Okay, therefore, being media and information literate is essential. What's your number four? Okay, Angela answered CE. Yes, you're right, Angela. It's a CE. And what helps you think or what helps you answer CE? Therefore. Let's go to number five. Finally, the awareness of media and information literacy is more intensified. Siguro merong activity dito ang school or ang organization ninyo. And even our Itulay online tutorial today, right, is a way of raising awareness about MIL. Okay, so what's your answer for number five? Is it a CE or an S? Okay. Siguro noon hindi hindi natin masyado nabibigyan pansin ang halaga ng MIL. Okay, but now, okay, but now, all right. Okay, what's your answer in number five? Let us see. Okay, congratulations, Laika. It's an S. Okay, and what helps you again? Think or answer S. Because of the word or transition signal, finally. Congratulations. Now, give me again, okay, a heart reaction. Oh, a star. I want a star because I want this comment section or this session today 
very bright. Okay, give me five stars if you got five over five. Okay, let us see. Yes, yes, you're right, Francine. It's finally, and it's an S. Okay, Clarice, that's also correct. Okay, who got five over five? Comment now the number of stars. Okay, based on your scores. If you got five over five, okay. So I believe you are typing your answers now and the number of stars that you that you got. Yes, Jalen, congratulations, got five over five. Very nice. Okay, now Chutis, what word or words express sequence or causal ideas? We have there, due to, therefore, as a result, first, next, and finally. Let's start with the ones, okay? The words or phrases, um, uh, purple, the purple words here, okay? Due to, therefore, as a result, okay? So what are these? It tells, or they tell, okay, cause and effect. Okay, that's why they belong to causal transition signals. And for first, next, finally, then, second, third, okay, these belong to sequential transition signals. Very nice. Okay, now, guys, let's complete now the diagram we had last time, remember? These are now the classification of transition signals. We have additive, adversative, causal, and sequential. Very good. Okay, so these are the four classifications of transition signals. Okay, so we already have here additive, adversative. Now, let's find out now the function of causal and sequential transition signals. For causal, okay, let's complete this, this diagram. Okay. Yes. What do you think is the function of causal? Okay, you may type, type, type. All right. So, two T's. Causal transition signals are used to indicate a consequence or a result. Okay. Merong sanhe, merong bunga. Okay. For sequential, used to indicate sequence of ideas in process okay for example okay first second third next then all right okay so again causal transition signals are used to indicate a consequence or result on the other hand wow see i'm already using a transition signal on the other hand sequential see because sequential transition signals are used to indicate sequence of ideas in process. Now, let's dig deeper, okay? Let's dig deeper our understanding about these two, the causal and the sequential. Chutis, reminder again, this is not casual, okay? This is causal. So, please be careful as you type the answer a while later, okay? This is the function of causal to indicate the consequence or result, and these are the sample transition signals. Accordingly, as a result, hence, subsequently, therefore, thus, thereupon, as a consequence, for this reason, wherefore. Sample sentence. The students review their lessons well before their exams. As a result, they pass the school's assessment process. Okay, just like how you complete, okay, the students, the graded students completed the outputs from their modules. As a result, okay, they passed or they received high grade. Okay. Let's go now to sequential, to sequence ideas. So we have their sample transition signals, okay? So you may read that, you may read them, all right? And this is our sample sentence. I cooked our favorite breakfast. After eating, I washed the dishes and other utensils. Then I swept to the floor and cleaned the whole house. I hope our grade 8 duties are doing this. Huh? I hope you're doing chores also at home. Okay, so we have there after and then then. So see, it tells a sequence. Okay, after you cooked your breakfast, what did you do? You washed the dishes and other utensils. What else did you do after that? I swept to the floor and cleaned the whole house. Okay? Sequence. Sequential. Madali lang. Causal. Cause and effect. Sequential. Sequence. O pagkasunod-sunod. Now, chutis. In celebration of Media Literacy Week, you will learn how to create a digital portfolio where you can showcase your academic outputs. You might, you might be asking Tutor Joey, Tutor Ruby, what is an online portfolio? Okay, Chutis, you can make actually an online portfolio like this. Okay, we have here a sample. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. All right. 
So, there are many ways to create an online portfolio. Select a platform and create an account. Choose a layout, a title, and appropriate design for the profile. Enter the information, okay, needed in each category. Online portfolios must reflect one's accomplishments, creativity, and values. Update the portfolio on a regular basis by uploading outputs. Now, guys, I have a problem here. Is the text clearly understood? Mm, are the ideas presented uh, from the first sentence? relevant or how is how does it connect to the second one okay how do we make this text coherent remember coherence or coherent means logically ordered understandable connected yes katlia you are right parang nagka nagka uh, um scramble yung mga ideas right now katlia and francine how do we improve this text let us see from the first one. There are many ways to create an online portfolio. Select a platform and create an account. Choose a layout and a title and appropriate design. Enter the information needed in each category. Now, Judy's, what kind of transition sig signal should we use to link these ideas? Causal or sequential? Okay, please type your answer. Okay. Again, let's improve this text, okay? Or this paragraph, these paragraphs, because there, there are actually two. Yes, Katleya is correct. It's sequential. Bakit natin nasabi sequential? Kasi the, after there are many ways, kaya siya sinasabi ways, processes how to make an online portfolio. So the, the, the rest, okay, or the following sentences tell us the ways. Okay, yeah, gagamitan natin siya ng sequential and it will be like this. There are many ways to create an online portfolio. First, yan, select a platform. Next, choose a layout. Lastly, enter the information needed in each category. Very good. Sequential, correct, Laika, Jalen, Carla. Let's go now to the second paragraph. Online portfolios must reflect one's accomplishments, creativity, and values along with life's experiences. Update the portfolio on a regular basis by uploading outputs. Guys, again, what kind of transition signal should we use here? Causal or sequential? Okay. Wow. Yeah, thank you so much, Francine and Jalen. Your answers are all correct by giving me the correct sequential transition signals a while ago for the first paragraph. Let's go now to the second one. Francine answered causal. You are right, Francine. Congratulations, Ate. You're correct. It will be like this. Online portfolios must reflect one's accomplishments, creativity, and values for this reason. Yeah, and update the portfolio on a regular basis by uploading outputs. Very good. So see, it becomes now like this. Okay, so thank you so much, Chutis. Okay, so alam naman natin yan. All right. Okay, now type the star icon if it is clear for you. Let me see stars that shine so bright in our comment section. Let me see. Okay, if it is a star. <laughs> Okay, if it is clear for you, the causal and sequential signals. Yes, thank you, Jalen, Francine. Now, let's do another activity and let us collect more stars. Okay, guys, you are you are our greatest stars in Deped Itulai. Congratulations. And this is what you're going to do. Type C if the transition signal used belongs to causal and S if it belongs to sequential. Madali lang. Okay, number one. We should be responsible digital citizens. Thus, it is important to fact check information that circulate online. Pimalaga to, okay? So, chutis, is it an S or a C? Is it sequential or causal? Okay? I hope we are all responsible digital citizens, okay? That's why it's very important to fact check. Always verify, okay? Jalin answered an S. Carla answered a C. Francine, yes, it's a C. Why it's not an S, Jalen? Because, all right, it's not a sequence. <laughs> okay, yes. All right. Number two. First, detect false information by verifying the source. Check the source always. 
Okay? Pag may nakikita kayong post, check always the source. Saan ba ito nang galing? Sino nagsulat? Sino ang author? Um, the time and date, is it relevant? Okay. Now, okay, Katleya answered S. Laika also answered an S. Very good. You're right. It's an S. Okay, first detect false information by verifying the source. There are many fake accounts, fake social media accounts. Therefore, checking them saves us from falling onto the trap. Marami talagang social media fake, fake social media accounts today, right? Ang dami dami. Okay. Therefore, checking them saves us from falling onto the trap. All right. Okay. So guys, there are many fake accounts and what will we do? By checking them, it will save us. Okay? Yes, you're right. It's C, causal. You're very good. Number four. Next, take a pause and think critically before spreading the posts. Okay, next, take a pause and think critically before spreading the posts. It must, ano tayo? Uh, naging impulsive tayo to share. Right? Posts, even though we do not know the source, we do not verify it. Okay? So, take a pause and think critically. Okay, you're right. It's an S. Congratulations. It tells the sequence. Next. Number five. Finally, check your biases by doing your own research. So what does it mean? What does bias mean to the Jovi? It's having or showing an unfair belief. Okay? Because there's your... Uh, an affair tendency to believe about something or someone. Okay, that's why you need to research to verify whether your bias is correct or not. All right, it's an S. Very nice. Okay, now we're done with the sentence level, Chutis. Okay, who got five over five again? Give me a star icon in our comment section. Let us see. Let's make again the comment section bright. All right. Uh huh. I can see a lot of stars, star icons. Congratulations, Chutis. I am so proud. Chutu Ruby and I are really proud of you. Wow, Francine got five over five. Laika also got five over five. Four over five for Katleya. That's an honest one. Honest one. Thank you so much, Katleya. That's okay. We still have another activity. Chanel, Carla. Francine got a 5 over 5. Congratulations. And Clarice, hello. Wow, ang, ang daming stars ni Jalen. See? Napakaganda tingnan ng stars. Tingnan natin kung meron tayong makukuha pang stars in our next activity. Now, Chutis, we're done with the with constructing or identifying or using transition signals in sentence level. Let's go now to the paragraph level, okay? Or let's go to using transition signals in paragraphs. Okay, so Chutis, I have here the difference between media literacy and information literacy. Okay, and this is part again of raising awareness about MIL. Let's read. There is a difference between information literacy and media literacy. Information literacy is identifying the need for information and locating, evaluating, and using the information effectively to solve a problem. Blank, whereas next, media literacy is accessing or evaluating, manipulating, and producing media in various forms. Media literacy and information literacy are two essential skills in this modern digital age. Number two, furthermore, however, there is a great deal of crossover between these terms. Blank, the combination of these two skills skills is called information and media literacy or media and information literacy okay now for number one what do you think is the correct transition signal here so guys this text okay has already the four classifications of transition signals so choose the correct one for number one what do you think is the transition signal here whereas or next francine answered whereas all right Get ready with number two and number three, okay? Katleya also answered whereas. Jalen also answered whereas. Let's see. Yes, you are right, girls, cuties. Whereas. Very good. Carlo also answered whereas. Madeline. Hello, Madeline Ganaban. Chanel also answered whereas. Very good. Let's go now to number two. Okay. M-I-L 
okay, or ML or IL are two essential skills in this modern digital age. Furthermore, or however, there is a great deal of crossover between these terms. All right. Okay. Let's see. Okay. However, there is a great deal of crossover, meaning um, we tend to... Uh, we tend to use these two interchangeably, right? Okay. What about for number three? Yes, you're right, Clarice, Madeline, however. All right. For number three, therefore, moreover, the combination of these two skills is called MIL or Media and Information Literacy. What's your answer for number three? Okay. Type, type, type. Wow. I love the energy of our treaties today. Congratulations, treaties. Yes, let's see. Okay, therefore, Carla answered therefore. Jalen answered therefore. Laika also answered therefore. Let's see. Yes, you are right. Therefore, the combination of these two skills is called MIL, or Media and Information Literacy. Now, guys, type three stars if you got three over three. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And please give again this session a heart reaction or you can click sh the share button so that you will be able to share this to your classmates and friends. Okay. Yes, like uh, pagdanganan. Congratulations, Francine. Wow, you're very active. Katleya, congratulations. Your school, your teachers are very proud of you. And you're the whole SDO. Wow. Chanel, Carla. Very nice. Now. Let's have, okay, a recap of our learning. Now, guys, again, what are words and phrases used in written or spoken communication that help readers understand the links between ideas, right? Okay, congratulations, Jalen, Carla, Madeline. Okay. Okay, transition signals. Congratulations. Very good. And what are the four classifications of transition signals? What are those? Let me see. Type, type, type. Napaka keyboard warriors nyo naman. <laughs> Mga mandirigma ng keyboard. All right. What are the four classifications? Yes, I can see an answer here from Laika Additive. What's next? Adversative, very good. Causal and sequential. Well, Jalen gave us the cur the four classifications already. Very good. Katleya also. Good job. Okay. So, learners, did we able to get or achieve our objectives? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We are able to achieve them. All right. So we have here the, the objectives for the minds, especially classifying, identifying the transition signals and using them in sentences. And for the heart, okay. And aside from that, of course, we were also able to make sentences, okay, and complete also a paragraph using those transition signals and conforms to the importance of MIL by learning ways to fact check information that circulate online. And of course, you will be writing a paragraph that makes use of transition signals about the ways to fight fake news. And speaking of that, this will be your additional exercise. And again, duties, we will be very happy to see your outputs that which you will send to us, to Tutor Ruby and to Tutor Joey. And this is what you're going to do. Write a paragraph that makes use of transition signals about the ways to fight fake news. Alam ko that you also experienced um, reading of fake news, okay? And from that experienced learners, I want you to get, a, a, or I want you to share your learning from it about how you fight fake news, okay? And if you it and if you haven't fought yet for fake news or you haven't, uh, you haven't, uh, um battled against fake news what could be the ways to fight misinformation or fake news that circulate online okay chutis gusto kong marinig sa inyo kung ano yung ginagawa ninyo para you will be able to fight okay or even even stop 
the spread of fake news in social media. So guys, please submit your outputs to Chiru Ruby and Chiru Joby with these Facebook profile pictures, okay, and Facebook accounts. Rubilin Cabardo Pastrano and Jovet Templado Tampil. All right. Now, it's a super fun time again, Tutis. 